Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nizon Khalis bin Khalidi. Today I will be presenting about my group in the project with my partner, Nik Ahmad Khairi bin Ibrahim. So our project today is about automatic car wash. So as we know, uh, automatic car wash compared to human car wash uh, is there is some difference uh, in aspect of time. Uh, efficiency and waste uh, of water okay. so uh, the problem statement of our project is uh, human car wash has bad time management so we we know we human uh, tends to do uh, broadcast things a little bit we have we have an energy so the longer we work uh, the less efficient we will be so but machines does not have energy so it can run uh, very efficient in every process until uh, the late of day okay. so uh, the second one is human car wash has bad customer service and this is because we humans have emotion uh, we tend to if we don't like the people of or our customer, we tend to we tend to do bad things to their car. So it's not a good thing. That's why we need um, automatic car wash that is uh, done by machine because machine does not have feelings like us. Okay, and the last one, uh, the I, I think this is the most important one because human car wash consumption of water is far more uh, is far more than uh, automatic car wash because uh, we we do not calculate the amount of water we need to rinse the car to wash the car after after we soak the car after we scrub the car and then we wash it we just we do not use efficient amount of water that is needed uh, to save water Okay, so our problem solution is uh, our automatic car, car wash uses timer in every process uh, in order to get a good amount of time management. So, uh, let's see. First step is uh, for the car to enter. And then, first step is to wash the car. So, after washing the car, we set, we set it about a time and then to another process and then to another process to another process so it 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 will calculate it based on how we want to uh, want, want to do it okay so automatic car wash need only few employees so uh, this is because uh, automatic car wash uses machine so only a few employees needed to let's say uh, service the machine uh, to start the machine or to stop the machine okay so it only need few employees so uh, and the third one is automatic car wash uses only a specific amount of water for every car uh, and then it can minimize the use of water so uh, comp uh, yeah, yeah. like I said before human tends to waste water very much so in order to do less waste of water we come up with uh, a little a little thing that is the automatic car wash Assalamualaikum my name is Ni Ahmad Khairi bin Ibrahim and my Team mid is Rizwan Khalis bin Khalidu. This is our mini project ladder diagram. The title is Automatic Car Wash. So before I start the simulation, I will go through the ladder diagram rung by rung to explain about the input output in the system. So I1 is the start button for the system. I2 is the stop button for the system in case there is an emergency or 
something to do with uh, the system such as repair or maintenance. M1 is the memory for the systems. Next input is car entry sensor. Number 4 is input for I4 is soap sensor. I5 is brush sensor. I6 is rain sensor. I7 is dryer sensor. I8 is exit sensor. And the memory for the car conveyor is empty. So this is the counter that I use in the system. So here is the output for the soap sprinkler Q1 and output for brusher is Q2 output for rinse sprinkler is Q3 output for dryer is Q4 and the last output is done wash is Q5 as we can see here I put a different kind of timer in every process so for the soap process I put the timer 1 which is set for 10 seconds and the second timer is on the brush process T002 for 15 seconds and for rinse process I put T003 which is timer number 3 set for 20 seconds and the fourth timer is 25 seconds on the dry process so I may begin the simulator right now so as we can see we need to push the I1 which is start button to start the system so when I when I push the start button the system will be turned on so how the system is work so basically when a car wants to wash their car, they need to enter the um, car wash place. So after the, they have entered the car wash place, they have been queued uh, to they have been queued to enter the system, this automatic car wash. Because of this system, um, the system are uh, use the car conveyor to move the car so the user of car don't need to do anything just uh, put their gear on neutral so after the car have been queued and placed at the conveyor the first sensor will detect which is i3 car entry so when i3 is detect a car it will trigger the car conveyor to move so as you can see here, the I3 sensor detect the car, then the car conveyor will move. So besides that, I3 also will trigger the car counter. Why I put this car counter here? It is because I want to I want to ease the I want to is the owner of the car wash to count how much how much uh, how many car that have entered this program or system so right now the car have entered is one so after i3 after the i3 right now is the car conveyor is moving so when a car is moving the next sensor is soap sensor when a car reach at the next sensor which is soap sensor i4 will trigger two things which is soap sprinkler and the timer one so when i push the i4 as you can see it will trigger the soap sprinkler and the timer so i set the timer for 10 seconds it is also will trigger the conveyor to stop at this time when the i4 sensor detect a car the conveyor will stop and the soap sprinkler will turn on for 10 seconds. Can you imagine that uh, if the car is stopped and the soap sprinkler will uh, spray out the soap at the extreme of the body of the car for 10 seconds. And then after that, 
after 10 seconds of timer has done, the car conveyor will automatically turn on and start moving and start moving. So the next process is brush process. So after the car have, have going through the soap process, it will move to the next sensor which is brush sensor. So the brush sensor will detect a car there and it will trigger it will trigger the brusher and the second timer which is I said for 15 seconds. The brusher will brush a body of a car for 15 seconds at the moment of car convey will stop at that time. So after 15 seconds the brusher will stop and the car conveyor will automatically turn on. After that the rinse process is the next process. So when the car moves after the brush process is settled, the rinse sensor will detect the car and it will trigger rinse spring and the third timer and also the car conveyor to stop so let me see, let me see. i6 is a ring sensor so the ring sprinkler will rinse the clean water over the x3 of the car it will clean up all of the soap that have been sprayed before it is said to be a uh, rinse about 20 seconds after a 20 second, the rain sprinkler will turn off and the car conveyor continue to move to the next process which is dryer process dryer sensor sorry. dryer sensor, this is the dry process so the next process is I7 when the car reach there, which is a dryer sensor it will trigger dryer for 25 seconds at the moment the car conveyor are stopped right now so the car the car uh, being dried for 25 seconds okay. okay, second. okay after 25 seconds as you can see the dryer will stop and the car conveyor continue to move and after that it will automatically move to the last sensor which is exit sensor and when the exit sensor is detect a car there the car conveyor will automatically stop and then the car user are ready to go that's how the program flow so what is used uh, the car counter just like I say, uh, uh, just like I said, the car counter is for uh, owners of the car wash. So, for example, during that day, how many cars that have been uh, going through the system? So, the car entry will detect and will trigger the car counter. So, let's say that day. Five car, six car, seven car. It is based on the car entry sensor. So it is necessary, necessary to put here to count how many cars have been used this system for that day. Okay. Okay, that's all for me. Uh, before I end, I end this presentation. I would like to. Thank to my dearest lecturer, which is Madam Norashikin binti Muhammad Tamrin. Thank you for having us uh, as a student. Thank you very much. Salam alaikum.